Today I'll show you how to make Bloody Mary cocktail. Hi guys, my name is Alex. All my love, passion, and energy from Miami to the world. Today we are gonna make Bloody Mary, and I'll show you three amazing variations how you can enjoy this very world famous, very well known hangover cure cocktail. Being honest, to do video about Bloody Mary, you could make a one hour video with different variations and uh, different uh, garnishes and everything what can be created around Bloody Mary, but it would be way too long, so I chose three versions from my life, from what I've done mostly in my life and what I believe is uh, great as many other versions as well. So just don't stop at these ones, what you will see today, experiment, but if you never made Bloody Mary or if you just have one in mind, so it will be a great start for you to start experimenting and understanding this cocktail. Bloody Mary cocktail was invented somewhere around 1920-1930s. Who invented this is kind of cloudy like with all classic and all uh, old school cocktails because uh, it is very difficult to confirm because it wasn't Facebook, it wasn't so much written word at that time. I mean it was but not like now so it was documented everything and we can't confirm. So I won't bother you about those stories. I'll get to show you all these three variations about Bloody Mary. But at first, just to understand what a Bloody Mary cocktail is. So as I mentioned, it's kind of hangover cure. Some people believe maybe it's some placebo, maybe it really works because it consists of a lot of tomato juice in a classic version. Even now you can create many other versions of juices that you can use except tomato but i will concentrate more on the classic way so some people cure hangover with it some people just enjoy this cocktail and mostly this cocktail is drunk uh, before afternoon even it used to be one of my favorite cocktails and i still love this cocktail and <laughs> i don't mind drinking it in the evening as well if i want cocktail and want cocktail what i want doesn't matter the time of the day <laughs> And this is one of those cocktails that is a savory taste. It's not sweet, it's not sour, even you can make it that forwarded, but I mean a classic version is more savory, like tomato juice is that umami taste, like savory ingredient and also worship style shows, a horseradish, salt, pepper and everything else you put into Bloody Mary to make it more like a meal actually. But Two ingredients are essential for Bloody Mary and those ingredients are spirit and the classic version comes with vodka, even other versions can come with other spirits and today you will see it in my video because I'll be showing you with different base spirits or alcohols let's say and uh, different tomato kind of juice or Bloody Mary mixes, let's say like that. Stick to the end and you will see really three interesting variations. So, two ingredients, tomato juice and some kind of spirit, classically vodka. This is Bloody Mary. Everything else evolved through the time and that's also very cloudy about who invented Bloody Mary because uh, maybe somebody just mixed uh, vodka with tomato juice and it can be called Bloody Mary, but through the time it evolved with other spices and it became kind of cocktail from the mixed drink. So, we don't know which one we're taking. I would really love to know more, but I'm not historian. Someday I'll make some series about hotel history here, some specialist experts in this field, and we'll find out more truth about classic cocktails. But today, let's go to the first version of Bloody Mary. And first Bloody Mary version is my favorite one is the one that I've been doing the longest in my life. It's kind of, on one hand, it's simple because it doesn't have many complicated things. On another hand, you still have to put some ingredients. And one thing what I do with my Bloody Mary, I don't use ice. Or I'm trying to avoid using ice, except if customer really wants and requires. Okay, up to him. I just explain that. Personally, for me, it's better warmer than diluted with water. But that's my personal preference and that's what I explain people. Some people try that and like and say, oh, that's right. Some people still want ice. 
So what I do, I keep my ingredients cold as much as I can. And as the main ingredients are vodka and tomato juice, and actually tomato juice comes in larger quantity than vodka, so of course it's good to keep tomato juice in a fridge, so they will be cold. If you keep vodka in the fridge as well, so most of your drink, 99, 97, 95% will definitely be cold. So I don't juice ice, I don't like my bloody Mary Deluxe. And first ingredient is good vodka. The proportion I use is something like one to three, one to three and a half. It depends if I want a little bit stronger or a little bit weaker, but something like if you want more stronger, you can of course one to two or one to two and a half. Today I'll make one to three. So having a glass that's 12 ounces, I'm pouring two and a half ounces of good vodka. Two ounces and that's it. <laughs> now, second ingredient is fresh lemon juice. If you can, always use fresh fruit. If you can, use something from the package or some other kind of uh, lemon juice. I'm squeezing straight into my cocktail and it's something around one ounce one more or less uh, this was very juicy half i will stick to that one half lemon juice now we add spices first one is simple black pepper i love black pepper so i like to put a bit more of them because they give spiciness and they give flavor as well second ingredient is salt. I suggest using pine salt so it will dilute easier <laughs> and faster. Of course there's a lot of different salts in the market like uh, celery salt or some other flavor salt. You can experiment truffle salt but today I'm making the simplest version with simple sea salt. It's a simple salt taste without any additional flavor. Now some spicy salt. Tabasco is one of them, very popular in the world, but you can use any other spicy sauce just to give a bit different flavor. It depends on how spicy you want, you know, like steak, rare, medium, <laughs> well done, so here's this one, <laughs> no spicy, medium spicy, spicy as hell, so you, you put like two ounces of Tabasco and then your customer is a dragon. <laughs> two, three. I put three, four dashes, so it's kind of medium spicy. You know, it's always better to put less than more because you can add, but you can't take away and you will have to make the cocktail if it's too much. And one more ingredient is Worcester sauce. Uh, I'm putting something like, like one fourth of an ounce to this amount and my spices are done. Now, tomato juice. The better the tomato juice are, the better your bloody Mary will be, of course. And I'm just pouring on top. So in this case it's something like 8 ounces. Almost to the top. Now we can mix bloody Mary a bit. To dilute the salt. To mix everything together. And of course very important, a nice bloody merry garnish. And here you can get very crazy for crazy garnishes with uh, some like bacon or something. I don't use meat, so I don't use these things in the cocktails, but I mean from that kind of crazy stuff to all other herbs and the spices and everything. For now, I will garnish it quite simple, but quite nice. It's what I like. It's how I like my bloody Mary to look now. So it's dried tomato. It's a slice of very nice dried tomato. Rosemary stick. Rosemary stick. I'm putting it like that. And I'll also give it a couple of olives. Here we go. Nicely garnished. Very tasty, simple, bloody 
marry. Of course, you put straw, but just try to do it environmentally friendly straw and you enjoy your coffee. Cheers, guys! Here we come to the second Bloody Mary version, and this is one of variations of Bloody Mary. It's called Red Snapper. And Red Snapper technically is the same as Bloody Mary, just it's made with gin instead of vodka. And this time I'm not going to go through it just the same just to use gin instead of vodka. Of course, I'm just going to show you another method of how you can make the second part of Bloody Mary. So gin and the mix. How you can make your own Bloody Mary mix instead of using juices or only juices. We will use just some of juices and this time I'm going to use blender. So it will be thicker it will be more different. So red snapper with your own Bloody Mary mix. And for that, of course, we need tomatoes. I'm using fresh tomatoes, small grape tomatoes. You can use some other tomatoes. They have a tiny different taste. Some are sweeter, some are more sour. So you can experiment here as well. And everything else is gonna be quite simple. We are adding some spicy stuff. Tabasco Also, I'm pouring some of Worcestershire sauce It gives sourness and a bit saltiness as well Also, pepper Black Salt More or less everything like in previous version just with fresh tomatoes and of course I will put some tomato juice just to get it a bit liquidy because if it will be only tomatoes it would be not a mix it would be a sauce so it would be very thick <laughs> I don't like that personally and to give it a little bit more spiciness and a little bit more different flavor of spiciness than just Tabasco sauce or you can use either one I use sometimes either one sometimes two I put one round slice of jalapeno pepper so it will give more spiciness and a bit different flavor because jalapeno pepper has its unique flavor that I love very much so I'm using it in this mix of course you could get crazy here with vegetables and everything else but I'm showing you simple but different version on red snapper variation of Bloody Mary. And of course, we need some sour, fresh lemon juice. Again, juicy half of the lemon. And what will be really different from the previous version is red wine. For this mix, I'll use a bit of red wine for my Bloody Mary. Let's open the bottle. And we have our wine open. Of course you can experiment with different wines here where imagination comes in. I'm just showing you the basic principle on how you can make and then Bloody Mary is so high that you could make a bar dedicated only to Bloody Mary and have like 300 different variations of it for sure. Red wine. It's like one third of all other ingredients in liquid form and now we're gonna blend everything what we have here together and I forgot to give it a bit more herbal flavor I will use one leaf of basil I love basil taste so it will be kind of pizza sauce <laughs> <laughs> and tasting time before pouring let's taste if we have everything whoa spicy as hell I guess this jalapeno pepper was very spicy because not always they are like that but this one is really, really, really wow. I will put a little bit more of uh, tomato juice just to be a bit liquidy. And there are some small parts that are not blended yet. 
I guess it's because it's very little amount of everything. That's why. If I would make like a bigger one, uh, like a half, it would blend better. So let's blend a little bit more. And now it's definitely ready. It smells. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, yellow pan of pepper. <laughs> It always makes me squeeze, sneeze. <laughs> uh, jalapeno pepper is like, um, I don't know, have its reaction to me. I love it, but it has its consequences. Whoa, it smells amazing, but it's very strong and... Oh, okay, it's better now. And now it's very simple. It's like with the previous version. And now we really mix these two ingredients. Mix and alcohol and to make it red snapper instead of bloody mary we are not gonna use vodka we are gonna use gin two and a half ounces or maybe three ounces because everything else is there and here is like three times more let's put everything on top as I mentioned, no ice. Okay, we are a little bit short. This time, so I'll pour a little bit of juice. As it's really strong in spicy thing, <laughs> really, really. Here, we have a very nice red snapper. And now we garnish it as well, not too crazy. Cocktail onion, jalapeno pepper, one small tomato. And one of very main ingredients or like garnishes for Bloody Mary, celery stick. It really goes very well with celery when you sip this cocktail and you bite on celery. It's an amazing combination. So you are having like a healthy shape, healthy meal. Except that alcohol I guess, but everything else help. Cheers guys, red snapper. Third version of Bloody Mary is also very famous and very well known in the world or more in Latin uh, Mexico it's Michelada. It's where you substitute vodka with beer so you don't put any hard liquor you put beer so it's much lighter version of Bloody Mary but it's also very interesting and very tasty drink and this time everything will be even simpler than any other previous version because we will need less ingredients this time i'll be using bloody mary mix instead of making my own juice or my own mix and i made a tasting on bloody mary mixes not this one it was another one so this time i bought some other one to taste and so you can check the link here it's really a lot of amazing Bloody Mary mixes in the market. I was amazed. Before that, I thought that it's only shitty things and you have to make only your own. But after tasting, I realized that no, market changed. We can find very good stuff on the market and sometimes it's just a waste of time making your own. But it depends. Sometimes you can make, sometimes I really advise to buy and to use and concentrate on other things. So let's get back to Mitchell Plat. And I'm gonna serve it in this glass, or you can serve it in a taller glass. Uh, this glass is very cool as well for beer based cocktail. And for Michelada, usually it's uh, like a traditionally, it has salted or some other spice rim. I'm gonna make salted rim, only half of it. I usually make half rim of anything for margarita or for any other cocktail who requires or who is cool with some kind of rim because person can choose if he wants that spice or if he doesn't want or if he wants but then he doesn't want so half rim everything is simple again no ice I don't use ice in tomato based cocktails but everything comes from a fridge beer is from a fridge mixes from a fridge as well and half beer you can use different beers. I love dark beer. You can use light, it will be even lighter than it's already light and Bloody Mary mix. 
or you can use only tomato juice but I like everything more spicy like Bloody Mary and we are making Bloody Mary type of cocktails today and mix another half so the measures is just depends on your glass I don't have any particular measures you take smaller glass it's smaller portion you take bigger it's bigger ones it's already mixed but I give it a light stir just to mix everything even better and garnish will be very simple this time just lime veg simple cocktail it's like a beer just in a different form michelada third version of bloody mary cheers guys enjoy thank you guys for watching this video i hope you got inspired enjoyed it and found it informative i try to explain you as much as i can about bloody mary's in a shortest period of time even this video got quite long but I couldn't do differently, you know, when I do things, I want to explain everything, so forgive me for that. And if you stick to the end, so thank you very much, I really appreciate that. If you have some other amazing Bloody Mary versions that I believe many people do, because this is a cocktail so versatile, you can make it so differently. I showed you today only three versions, try to make them in kind of the most different way because you can get so creative on the first version so creative on the second and so creative on the third version already so it's on your imagination please tell me in the comments below which version you prefer the most the juice version the your own the fresh tomatoes version or a beer version i would really like to know and thank you very much please show me some support subscribe my channel like this video share with your friends it really helps me a lot and i can create even more interesting videos and share my experience with you so thank you very much and i'll see you in next videos